I S U P K. The images of the situation in Del Rio moved the controversial group Israelite School of UPK to mobilize their car caravan when they were allegedly turned away in Del Rio and they headed to Eagle Pass. Came around to the Mexico side. Now we're in Mexico to give our brothers the resources that we have for them. After an hour plus trip, the caravan made it to this park in Ciudad Acuña, traveling through an area with a State Department travel warning level four for violence on the Mexican side due to the cartels. Being in a dangerous situation, that's being black, Hispanic, or Native American. I mean, we'll, you know, our lives are dangerous. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven than the south Black power, uh, 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 One body, one face, one lord Feel like I can take over the world with one sword 144,000 men on one accord Not being in this army is something Ain't a boy, oh, real niggas across the board Ain't no suckers round us You was looking for the truth Well, that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king Round the troops up Let's go to war and die Defending this nation if we got to Ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing strong like a man Cause in our camp it ain't no cowards Not it for grand Nigga, it's step before dishonor Rather die like a man School and universal practical knowledge Started out of 1 West 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under command of Jenny Ahana. You understand, in 1969, the Lord put back his priests and prophets on this earth. You understand, to bring back the truth and the culture, the realness, to black natives and Hispanics. You understand? Hold this Bible up. Inside of this Bible, I understand our entire lives. We have been lied to, and that's why we out here to debunk all of the lies and bring the truth. Back to the 12 tribes of Israel that you see here on this sign, man. I hate to tell it to you, man. We out here bringing out all of the characteristics, dealing with all of the dirty laundry of our oppressor who has oppressed us and has slaved us and enslaved us for the last 400 plus years, man. You understand? I hate to break it to you. I hate to break it to you. But guess what, man? On this earth here today, there is Antichrist that is on this earth here today. And I understand, if we work the Christianity off of this Bible, we don't understand what's being said in here. We don't understand what it means to be anti-Christ, man. And all for us to find out what is an anti-Christ and who is an anti-Christ, you're going to have to go into this Bible. You're going to have to stop listening to your Christian pastor and your black leaders that has you deceived. That doesn't have you opening up this Bible and understanding the real culture that is ours, man. But we're going to bring it out to you today, man. Take me to the book of 1 John. When we standing up here, we're not making nothing up, man. Everything that we're reading is in this Bible, man. Go get you a 1611 King James Version Bible, man. The most accurate translation to the Hebrew text. We men back here, man. We men of the Lord. And we study this Bible, man. We real scholars. You understand? You are understanding. You got to go to the priests and prophets of the Lord, man. If you want to understand it. But we're going to understand that here today in America in 2021, there's many, many, many antichrists that is on this earth today. Some of us have been anti-Christ before, man. Let me ask you a question. If you will see something that says anti-drugs, what does that mean? That means you against drugs, right? If you anti-homosexuality, what does that mean? You against our homosexuality. You understand? And we're going to bring it out to you in the scriptures, man. To be anti-Christ is not some red man that's flown around on the earth with horns, a pitchfork. You understand? That's bull crap. That's Christianity. That's religion, man. It's idiotic to believe in such a thing. To be anti-Christ is to be against Christ. Anti. You write the religion off of this Bible. You gonna understand and stop looking and believing in myths, man. We're not gonna be beguiled by nonsense. You got that scripture? Take me to First John. Take me to First John chapter two, verse twenty-two. Come, come. First John chapter two, 
verse 22. Who is a liar? Uh -huh. But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Jesus is Christ. To be anti-Christ is to deny that Jesus, Yahweh Shah Mashiach in the Hebrew, is Christ. You understand? That's to be anti-Christ. That's to be anti-Christ. And many of us have denied Christ before. Many of us have denied him high. But not standing for what he stood for. You want to have the spirit of Christ to have that spirit, that zeal, the ways, how you move, how you operate. You understand what comes out of your mouth. That's the spirit, man. In other words, your soul, brother. If you black native on the Spanish, it's your soul. Read it from the top. Verse 22. Uh -huh. Who is a liar? Uh -huh. But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. Listen, you can't deny it. When you go into the actual historical facts of who Christ was as a black man, it's undeniable. Every day Christ was on this earth, he was, uh, he was operating as a savior, man. He was operating as a leader, man. As a teacher for black Spaniards and Hispanics because he saw the conditions of black Spaniards and Hispanics. The men you see before you today, we would sit by the Lord, you understand? Black Spaniards and Hispanics, you're a black man, you deserve to be back here too, man. Bringing up the truth. Being a savior towards your, uh, towards your people, man. Being that helping hand that black people need. Teaching these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. And the scripture said, he that denies Christ, that Jesus is Christ, he's a liar, man. All of y'all saying that Christ don't exist. All you Old Testament Israelites. You understand? Christ was a black man. He was the greatest man that ever walked the face of this earth, man. You understand? Keep reading. He is anti-Christ. He is what? Antichrist. He is what? Antichrist. According to the scriptures, if you deny that Jesus is Christ, that he is the savior of black states and Hispanics, you're Antichrist, man. That's right. You understand? The, that he's black. You don't understand what it means when we deny Christ. Denying Christ means we deny this entire Bible, man. Denying Christ means we deny everything that he stood for. If we deny Christ, man, you know how we do that with our lives, man? We've done that many times with celebrating being American culture. You think uh, 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 the white man is like the beach boy, man. Like Jesus Christ, like the <laughs> white devil is. The brothers was bringing out the scriptures telling you about the real Jesus Christ. You understand? It was a brother, a hardcore brother like the men you see before you today. You understand? We up in here with the spirit of Christ. You can see it in the way that we dress. You can see it in the way that we talk, man. We are absolutely pro-Christ. And if you black, native, or Hispanic, you should be pro-Christ as well, man. You understand? Read it again. Verse 22. Uh -huh. Who is a liar? But he that denies that Jesus is the Christ. He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Listen, man, the Bible is about rank and order. If you deny Christ, guess who else you denying? Guess who else you denying? Oh, I have a personal relationship with God. You also denying the Lord. You also are, are denying the Most High. You denying Christ. How do we deny Christ, man? We're going to find out that this is a spiritual battle. We're going to bring it out in the scriptures. Give me 1 John chapter 4. Verse 3, the brother going to get the scripture. If you black man and Hispanic, look very closely. We reading out of the Bible, man. We ain't making this up. This is in the Bible. The same books that all of our grandmothers had on their dresser, collecting dust. You understand? Got a lock on it. Don't never open it up. We reading out of that same book, man. You got that scripture? Go ahead, let him know you are. First John, chapter 4, verse 3. Uh -huh. And every spirit, everyone. Every spirit, every what? Every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. It said every spirit, man. This is a spiritual thing. You denying Christ in the spirit. Not him coming up to you saying that I'm Christ and denying him. But this is a spiritual thing. Read it from the top. Verse 3. And every spirit that confesses. And, and that's why we and that's why we try in y'all spirit. This is why the Lord tries our spirit, man. If you say you're really for Christ, 
you gonna have to be about that. You're going to have to be about that. You're going to have to be behind these lines right here. You're going to have to go out and act as Christ acted, man. You're going to have to have the spirit of Christ. In, in other words, you're going to have to have some brotherhood, black man. We're going to have to love one another, black man, as Christ did. You understand? We and every spirit uh -huh. that confesses not that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh uh -huh. is not of God. Say it sir. It ain't just with your mouth, man. We're going to pull the scriptures, man. The scriptures say, be not be, be doers of the law, man. You can't just talk that talk. You can't just come up here and say, accept Jesus Christ, and your whole life is snapping fixed. It don't work like that, man. Black man, if you haven't realized yet, life is warfare. We're going to work just like we're going to work for this kingdom, man. We're going to work for the kingdom of God. With Christ ruling it, man. A black man ruling it. You understand? Read. And every spirit uh -huh. that confesses not uh -huh. that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh uh -huh. is not of God. Is what? Is not of God. Is not of God, man. You understand that we've been denying Christ in the spirit for way too long, man. We've been denying Christ in the spirit for way too long, man. You understand? We denied him how? Every time that we deny these laws, statutes, and commandments. I know we seem crazy out here. I know y'all think we ain't got no jobs. That we just, you know, some lazy bunch of dudes. But back here, we teaching that we teaching how it is that you accept Christ. You accept Christ with your morals. The morals of the Bible, man. You gotta have some integrity for these laws, statutes, and commandments. We can't be out here celebrating America's uh, traditions, man. That he's the traditions. And, they, and listen, and they hated Christ, man. We can't be hypocrites, man. You're either going to love Christ or you're not. It's very simple. You're either going to love Christ, which is a black man, or you're not. And we don't care what you think about other man. The book of Romans chapter 9 says, whether you believe or not, Christ going to run this kingdom, man. Whether you like it or not, Christ is going to run this kingdom. A black man. You devils are going to have to bow down to a black king, man. Right. Because he's earned it, man. And we owe it to Christ to prepare this kingdom, man. We got to understand what it means to deny Christ in the spirit. The scripture just said it's not of God. You know what's not of God? To celebrate America's traditions. You understand? For a man to put on a dress. For a sister to act like a man. To do drugs. To be on... Say again. Is your house out of order? Let me tell you something about this Bible. God is not going to ask you or command you to keep your house in order and his house is not in order, man. So if God is commanding us to have our house in order, ask yourself if it's in order, man. Does our woman dress appropriately? Are our sons and daughters, are they growing up to be strong men? You understand? Having some decorum and some class as a sister, we got to check our own house. Do you understand? Read. And this is the spirit of an antichrist. And this is the spirit of the antichrist. Y'all thought we was lying out there? To be antichrist is to be against Christ, man. When you deny Christ in the spirit, with the way that, with, the, uh, with the, the things that you do with your life, what you believe in, what you teach your children, you understand? When you deny that, the scripture said that's not of God, and that's the spirit of antichrist. Now we not bashing you, man. Just understand that that's what the Lord said. That's what the Lord said, and that's all we do. We ain't doing nothing but reading these words off a page, man. Hey, listen. It wasn't too long ago. We was just out there with you, man. We was just out there with you. At one point in time, all of us was anti-Christ, man. All of us was anti-Christ, was against Christ. But that's due to religion. That's due to Christianity, man. But now it's time to get our heads out of our behinds, man. It's time to separate from this devil, man. It's time to absolutely separate and come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. We have to accept Christ. He's earned it. He died and gave us some time. And why do we have allegiance to America? Why? How have they earned our allegiance? We fought in all of your wars. We're the whole reason why you watch the Olympics. We're behind 95, if not 100 percent, of all the gold medals of America. We're the reason why you won your wars. You understand? We're running all of your social media. 
TikTok, Instagram, they all going crazy for what black status and Hispanics is doing on them, man. America thrives off of the hard work and labor and blood, sweat, and tears of the black and Latinos and Native Americans, man. They thrive off of it. And they send their children to Yale and Harvard. Do you understand? That's what they do. And it's about time that we build something for ourselves, man. Second John, chapter one, verse six. And this is love. So listen, man, black ladies and Hispanics, we about to find out what God said is love. The problem with Christianity and religion, it's allow black people to believe that your opinion matters most. Well, uh, God don't care about your opinion, man. God don't care what you think is love. The Bible is our records, our ways of life. In this Bible, it tells us what love is. We're about to find out right now. Keep reading. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is love that we walk after his commandments, man. What is the two greatest commandments? I'm paraphrasing. What's the two greatest uh, uh, commandments, man? Loving the Lord thy God with all our mind, heart, and soul. And the two, the second one, is just as great as the first one. It's in the same spirit as the first one. And that's to love your brother as you love yourself, man. You understand? Them the two greatest commandments. And then the Bible goes on to read uh, that the rest of the law hangs on these two alone, man. The rest of the laws that are in this Bible hangs on those two things. And it's not light. It's very heavy to love another black man as you love yourself. It means something to the Lord. You understand that angels rejoice over it. You understand? Christ is, Christ is, made, uh, Christ is going to be glorified by it. Because that means that he died and it worked. Black people started to care about black people. You understand? Read. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning. As ye have heard from the beginning. What's the beginning? All the way back to Genesis, man. Since the Lord gave his law, statutes, and commandments to Adam. You understand? Since the beginning, we've heard these things. That this is love according to the Bible, man. Since Genesis, man. To follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. Keep reading. Ye should walk in it. Uh-huh. Verse 7. For many deceivers are entered into the world. For many deceivers are entered into the world, man. You got many, you got many people around here deceiving black states and Hispanics, thinking that we Africans, not knowing that we the, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, not knowing our identity, not knowing our language. Right. You understand? There's been many deceivers that's been cast in this world. Keep going. Who confess not that Jesus Christ uh-huh. is come in the flesh. Keep going. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. This is a deceiver and an antichrist, man. To be antichrist. You understand? To deny that Christ came in the flesh, it allows black people to believe that they can't be perfect when Christ told you to go be perfect, man. You understand? This Bible is common sense. We will keep saying it all day long. We the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge, man. This Bible is practical. It's logical, man. If we understand that Christ came in the flesh, that a black man came in the flesh, that came up in a hardcore neighborhood such as Nazareth in the flesh, and we understand how he walked and how he moved, we would have an example. This whole Bible is full of examples, man. You understand? We can't deny Christ because denying Christ, the Bible says that's antichrist. We deny him by not following these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. We deny him by accepting America's culture and crushing our culture. We out here to give black states and Hispanics back our culture. So let's take it together. Do you understand? Keep reading. Damn right. Damn right. Y'all get a sister a hand, man. Get a sister a hand. Sister says, stop killing these babies. You understand? Abortion. That we are against the abortion, man. The Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, under commanding Jenny O'Hara, we were taught that killing black states and Hispanic babies, that killing babies in general is wrong, man. It's anti-Christ to kill your baby, man. It's against Christ. And that's what heroin was trying to do. Heroin was trying to do. You understand? He was trying to kill babies when Christ was born. You understand? That's what Herod was doing. An evil king, man. You understand? I'd rather die like a man than live like a
like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven in the south Black power, uh, 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 144,000 I'm just trying to make 144,000 One body, one face, one lord Feel like I can take over the world with one sword 144,000 men on one accord Not being in this army is something you can't afford it. Real niggas across the board, ain't no suckers around us You was looking for the truth, well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king, round the troops up Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we got to ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing strong like a man Cause in our camp it ain't no cowards Hundred forty four grand Nigga is step before the sun Rather die like a man Than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours I'd rather die